I used to love strip clubs. Mexico girlfriends used to hate when I went there. She's like, why are you going to visit me at work? <laughs> when I die, I want to come back as a pole in a strip club. You know, with my luck, it'll be Chippendales. I'll have this guy's nuts on my face. <laughs> I went to a strip club in Wisconsin. That was the worst experience of my life. One of the girls was eight months pregnant. I got a lap dance. I felt a kick. I had to pay for two. I went to put a dollar in a G-string, a little Henry style, and grabbed it. You ever call your ex on their birthday just to ruin it? You ever hate someone so much, but you still fuck them because they're your wife? <laughs> you ever start laughing during sex because you can't believe how low your standards have gotten? <laughs> I had a threesome one time, but it was the wrong ratio. It was me, a dude, and a dude. <laughs> I did a show, these two girls came up to me, they were like, how big's your penis? I don't know, nine inches, rounded off to the nearest nine inches. And they wanted to have a threesome. One of them was real hot, the other one was disgusting. Like, whatever, a nine to one is a 10, right? So we're playing truth or dare, and I wanted to go to the ugly one. Truth or dare, dare, leave. I don't know, I live in LA, a lot of models in LA, they're obnoxious. And the one girl, I'm like, you're really pretty. She goes, tell me something I haven't heard. I'm like, you're really smart. like, I used to be a slut, but now I'm a good girl. What do you want to do? I'm like, I don't know, build a time machine? <laughs> She's like, I'd have sex with you, but you're not gonna respect me in the morning. Uh, I wake up at noon. <laughs> She's like, we could make out, but nothing below the waist. I took off my clothes, did a handstand. One time I forgot a girl's name during sex. I was like, say my name, say your name. <laughs> I was dating a cheerleader. She was fun, but way too into it, like during sex. I was like, I'm gonna come. She was like, see you, M. <laughs> my ex had way too much Botox. She used to get mad at me, but I couldn't tell. <laughs> she was so fake. Botox and implants. Anyone have implants here? Ladies, implants? Nobody, nobody shaves, nobody's implants. El Natural. El Natural, prove it. Okay, so uh, yeah. This guy's like, I'm never hanging on my mom again. I swear to God. <laughs> this is the worst. Please tell me I was adopted, please. <laughs> A lot of girls in LA are not very attractive. They get these huge implants to distract you from their faces and it fucks in my mind. At first I'm like, oh, come on. It's like putting brand new rims on a Kia. <laughs> But I get it. Like, if I had a really small cock, I would just dye my balls rainbow. That way, girl's like, you have a small cock. Are your balls rainbow? I want to taste the rainbow. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Any girls have tattoos here? Your tattoos? No? You? No? No? You? What do, mom has one. What do you have? A skull. A skull. Yeah. That's creepy. Okay. <laughs> what are you, He-Man? I don't understand. What? Where? where, where, where where's the skull? on like your vagina? Cause what are you, Indiana Jones looking for the lost skull? Dude, your mom has a skull on her vagina. Uh, sorry man. Damn. That's, that's rough dude, it's rough. It could be worse, could be worse. It could, it could still be alive. And uh, if I was a girl like going right here, it says pull out or I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs>